Good morning. So today I'm going to do another episode of What Would a Square Wear? Um, <laughs> as it turns out, I think I'm becoming a square. So um, I guess square is an attitude and that shit ain't me. So what I'm going to do this morning is I have to speak at a benefit luncheon, banquet luncheon today. And so um, I am assuming that this is a palette that a square would wear. This is the Juvia's Place Nubian 3 Coral Palette. I got this on sale at Ulta for $14. I, I'm pretty sure it's usually $20. Um, I'll list it up here and in the description box down below, but I just really have like 18 minutes to do my makeup um, before I go to school, and then I have to speak at 11. So, um, I know that this is what a square would wear because I'm not even sure I want to keep this palette. However, um, many of you have commented to me about how this is, what would a square wear is actually your right up your alley. It's like your journey. So here, here you go. I love you guys and I want to make content that you guys love. Um, I'm going to start by, crap, I can't believe I didn't do this. Um, obviously, primer, eyeshadow primer, P. Louise and Rumoro 2. Again, I'm not going to talk that much because I want this to be fast for those of you who don't have 22 minutes to watch a makeup tutorial or listen to my jokes. I do this when I'm in a hurry. So we have a 227. I'm gonna go into this deeper coral shade right here. And I'm just gonna drag this in the crease. My Zoeva 221, I'm going to go into this lighter, pinkier shade. And I'm going to do this along the outer edge to blend out that color. Little dip. And I'm just dragging this all the way up to the brow bone and into the eyebrow. I don't have a ton of time and I believe that that's kind of most people's story, right? Most people don't have an hour and 20 minutes to do their makeup. I'm going to go back with my Zoeva 227 into that orangier tone, that warm tone coral. And I'm going to just go under the lash line. And then with my Zoeva 221 into that lighter shade. And I'm just going to put that on the corner. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with my M506. And I'm going to go into this deep brown here to give myself some dimension in my outer V. That's a really warm tone brown, meaning it's got a lot of red in it. Going in for a second dip. I just really want to deepen that up. And just, I'm not pulling that in all the way. I'm just pulling it in about halfway, maybe two thirds.
Ja. What the fuck? So the next thing I'm gonna do, you guys know what time it is. It's my next glitter primer time on my Morphe M421. And I'm gonna go in with this like rose gold color up in the top left corner left to me because I'm going to save this lighter color for my inner corner highlight which I normally would go in with this one but try it we'll try it I'm not a square so what I normally would do is the opposite of what I should be doing now eh oh and this is my JH 41 by Morphe. I actually love this brush. I feel like this looks a lot like my first what would a square wear. I actually think I'm going to return this palette. It's just not my jam. But it is a good basic bitch palette. And, um... Juvia's Place is on sale all the time at Ulta and on the website. So I'll list both of those below so that you guys can have access to this palette because it is an affordable palette that's good for everyday wear. And doesn't look crazy. I mean, it's not the cheapest palette on the planet, but it's affordable. I'm going to take the other side of this JH40, what is it, JH41. I'm going to take the back side of this and I'm just going to grab some of this darker brown right here to put on the back end of that. Like right before the brown that I added for the dimension, the matte brown, just to kind of add a little special touch there. And then I'm going to go into that lighter pink shade that I told you I was going to use for my inner corner highlight. And I'm just going to dab that with my finger over the highest point of my lid. Give it a little. All right. So I'm going to go in with my... M508 smudger brush and I'm going to go into that deep brown and I'm just going to drag this along my lower lash line on the outer part. And with my Moda BMX 402 I'm just going to smoke that out a little bit just get it nice and blended and then what am I going to do? Go back in with that, with my Morphe JH39 pencil brush, and I'm going to take that rose gold on the top there and kind of bring that in right here to give a little touch of color and shimmer. And then I'm going in with my I slay and I'm going into that lightest coral shade, that coral shimmer, and I'm going to use that as my inner inner corner highlight. Perfect. Okay. Now, what I want to use on my waterline is this <laughs> neon coral or my one by Makeup Forever. <clears throat> Can't I find it? However, since this is my What Would a Square Wear episode and everything I think is wrong, first thought wrong, I'm going to go in with my 24-7 Glide On Pencil by Urban Decay in the color Whiskey, which is brown, clearly.
Well, that makes all the difference between a square look and a Katie look is that brown eyeliner. So I'm going to finish the other eye, do my eyebrows, mascara, and um, lipstick, and I'll be back with the finished look. Okay, this is the final look. Tell me, do I look like a square? Um, do, do you think I'm going to trick them? Yeah, so um, I'm actually going to a convention for the ACLU, a national conference in Milwaukee in like two weeks. So you guys should join me in my next episode of What Would a Square Wear? Today I'm going to go and figure out if um, you guys can just continue to follow me as I traipse around the countryside trying to trick people into thinking that they should listen to what I have to say. So um, I hope they don't know that, they'll probably assume that this is my only pair of dress pants, but what they won't know it is that it's my only clean pair of dress pants and they're too small for me because that's what happens when we get in recovery, our butts get giant. And um, I hope they don't notice that actually last night I ripped out all my eyelashes when I was taking off my eye wigs. So, um, I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you think about this look if you want to see more. And um, thank you so much for hanging out on my channel. You could have been doing anything, but you were hanging out here with me, and I really appreciate you. Bye. And yes, I was seven minutes late waking my kid up. <laughs>